Hello everyone, I am not exactly sure if this is the best place to put you, <laughs> plant in the way, uh, but this is going to have to do for now. So I'm going to sit down actually because why am I standing really awkwardly? So a little while ago I um, ordered some stuff from Arquette and it has turned up today. Arquette is a brand that I have been intrigued by for quite a while and there has been one particular thing that I've been looking for and I feel like they're going to do it very, very well. So uh, I ordered two things, I'm just going to open them now actually, I'm going to unbox this. Oh, that just reached for my scissors um, while we're here. Get the lid off this box. There we go. So I ordered a blazer. Now I've been looking for a good oversized um, black blazer for a really, really long time. I've been finding it quite hard to get the cut that I want because I want something that is quite masculine and kind of bigger on the shoulders um, and not really tailored. And most blazers tend to be very tailored in the waist at the moment. So here, she is. Now Arquette are one of the brands that you guys told me to look into. So in my, what was it? I think it was my March favorites. We had a big conversation about sustainability and fashion. Brands that are kind of thinking more about that. So it's quite difficult because a lot of high street brands and I do try to stick to the high street because I just think it's a place where no one's going to be excluded. So it is something that we can all afford and something that's not going to you know, be a massive, massive investment piece. But there are brands like Arquette, which I would I would call like a high end, a high premium, high street brand. Um, even things like H and M are starting to do the conscious range, which is really great. I definitely wanted to try um, a few things out for them. So yeah, this blazer it does have a name. This is really the most awkward way that I could possibly have been unboxing this and showing you. On the hanger, it doesn't look like much, um, but it does look like it has that nice, like oversized kind of feel to it. This one was a uh, £115, which I think for a really good quality kind of premium-ish blazer is a good price. And then the second thing that I picked up um, is actually just a black t-shirt, kind of similar to the one that I have on now, but I, oh, I've gone really out of focus, hi. I um, obviously kind of live in t-shirts, jeans, t-shirts, whack a blazer on it or a jacket or something like that and we are happy. So it's something that I also wanted to look into getting a really good quality version or something um, that's going to be a staple, super wearable and already, oh my god, I can't even tell you, this is so different to any t-shirts I have. It's kind of quite thick. Uh, I went for a crew neck, simple crew neck t-shirt. This one has got quite an interesting neck actually. It's kind of like quite chunky and thick, which I like a lot. Uh, so yeah, this is just, I don't know if this one has a name either, the labels don't say, but this is just kind of like their standard go-to crew neck. So yeah, this one I got in a quite a big size. I want it to be quite big and, and baggy. <laughs> Cue me trying to do one of those really like sped up, cool Instagram styling videos and completely failing. The one thing I don't understand about those videos is why is nobody doing the jeans dance? We've all got to do the jeans dance again. <laughs> Let me just move you guys this way a little bit. So my plant is seriously trying to take center stage in the shot. So uh, yeah, this is what the t-shirt looks like. It's actually quite big on me, but I really like that. When it's tucked in, it's uh, kind of just got that very cool, like this could be your boyfriend's shirt, even your dad's shirt that you've just nicked out the washing kind of vibe to it, which yeah, I really, really like. The quality feels so nice too. It's, uh, it's really, really thick. That's the only way I can think to explain it, but it's not heavy feeling. I'm gonna check actually, where would the label be? What this is made out of. Uh, let's see. It is a 90, is that five or a six? 96 percent cotton, four percent elastane. That's a really good combination actually because it does have that slight, it's not stretchy but it feels like it's gonna retain its shape a bit better which is what the elastane does and then the cotton obviously. I think you can't go wrong with a cotton t-shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna move you out of the way. Is that better? Okay, let's go for this blazer. So this one I got in, what size did I get? I got it in a 12. I thought that'd be like a good oversized, medium size. Feels nice, it doesn't feel like it's uh, too, too big. Uh, actually, I think this might be just right. It's gonna be really hard for me to tell what this looks like just by looking at my tiny, tiny camera screen. So I think I'm gonna go um, and try this on in the mirror with you. I'm gonna slip on. Some um, shoes slip into my little Gucci, 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 Gucci loafers. It's spelled like gucky, which can be confusing. <laughs> which I always seem to pull out this time of year. I think they are the perfect spring shoe until I get my um, my office properly sorted out, which is something that I've really yet to do or think about. Uh, this is the best mirror that I can offer you. But I think you can kind of get the gist of this in here. It's always hard to show an all black outfit. This blazer is really, 
really nicely oversized. This is where the shoulder ends and it's just that perfect like tipping over where my actual shoulder should be. It doesn't look too boxy or too square. Just kind of really nice and quite casual and cool. And yeah, the t-shirt as well fits really well underneath it. I'm actually very happy with this. The quality feels good. It's not kind of heavy, very stiff blazer. There's some movement to it. I have just kind of thrown this on with a pair of black jeans that I was already wearing in the loafers, but I do, I actually really like this outfit. A little bit of a volume right now would be great hair if we could cooperate that would be wonderful so that's a big uh, that's a bit of a big thumbs up from me for our cat and my first impressions of it i i think i'm going to keep both of these i'm happy with them they fit really well they feel like good quality so how exciting new brand discovery thank you guys for the recommendations on that i think they actually have a store they have one store here in london i feel like it's around the Covent garden area so I am actually gonna go into town later today. We've got a wedding uh, coming up and I have a bunch of errands to run. It's actually out of the country, so there's planning and packing and things like that involved. And I have loads of stuff I need to pick up. I need to pick up some cleanser and just all things that I seem to have run out at the same time. Uh, so I just need to go into town and do some errands today, really. But before that, uh, me and Sam, uh, because Sam is here working today, we're gonna go and skive off. Ooh, I just kicked the wall. We're gonna go and skive off on our lunch break. We geeked out a little bit last week because we booked tickets to go and see the Avengers, the new Avengers, um, for a midnight screening. That's that's just what we're doing. Uh, but we haven't seen Captain Marvel yet, so we're gonna go and have a little lunch break cinema time because you know I'm I'm just that good of a boss. Um, so yeah, I'm actually more excited about the pick and mix really to be fair. Uh, I think we're probably in very typical me fashion running late. I can't even find my phone to check the time. So I think we should probably leave now. I will see you guys later. Right. What have we done, Sam? What is your work? We're here a whole hour early. Uh, should we go this way? I actually can't believe this. We're an hour early. I thought we were rushing to get to where we needed to go. And it turns out that for once in my life, actually the very first time ever, I am early. So. I should probably take advantage of the situation and go and get some food. This does mean that we'll have time to get snacks in the cinema later, which is a good thing. So, uh, this camera is getting so out of focus, we need to get a new one. Woo! Okay. I am looking particularly over the top glam today with my makeup and even my hair. I've just spent this afternoon doing a kind of like mini run through. I think I mentioned this already in this vlog, but we're going to a wedding this weekend and I wanted to just kind of like make sure I knew what I was doing makeup wise because I don't know if there's going to be a lot of time to get ready and I won't be getting ready at home. So I needed to know what to pack and what to bring. And the one thing that I did discover is I've pretty much lost all ability to do anything but natural makeup. It was such, such a task. So out of my comfort zone doing like a proper glam makeup and my face kind of feels a bit stuck, but I um, wanted to make sure I was wearing something that would stay all day. It was looking horrific halfway through. I did some baking and everything like that. But I think when it comes to full coverage, extreme glam makeup, then um, it never looks quite right until that final little step happens and the lipstick goes on. So um, if I do have time, I'll film myself getting ready for the wedding. Now that I know what I'm doing, it should be a bit quicker and easier. So I will try and get that film for you guys. If not, um, and you wanna see me do this makeup look, I can always just do it when I get back. I actually use the Dyson, uh, is it the Air Curler or the Air Wave to do my hair? And I think I'd, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's an amazing tool, but it does take some practice. So yeah, I feel like I finally cracked it. Anyway, so today I do have a few more errands uh, to get done. I actually need to run out and pick up some prints, some snappy snaps, and I need to go up the hill and buy a new mascara because I have run out of mascara. I call myself a beauty blogger. Shameful, absolute terrible. Uh, mascara and setting spray are two things that I need to pick up. Very, very much essentials. And then I need to do the less exciting thing of coming back here and packing. That is actually very important and one thing that I really should get started on soon. So I'm gonna go out, come back, and get started packing. Before I leave though, quickly, because I do need to be quick, um, this came today 
You may have noticed and you may be able to see that I have a menagerie of plants and things going on here. And this is one that I have wanted to add to my collection for so long. It's a banana leaf plant. It does have a proper name, but that is not something that I can remember off the top of my head. And I love it. I ordered it from Patch Plants, which uh, I was just completely turned on to by an Instagram ad that popped up in my feed one day. Um, they do some really amazing plants and they deliver them. I'm not sure if they're just in London or if they're outside too, but this little thing turned up today and she is a beaut. It's really, really, really gorgeous. So this is gonna go in my office. This is um, the kind of plant that loves a bit of sun. So it's very sunny in that room. I just need to put it in a bigger pot. Uh, so that is probably a job for when I get back. But for now, I can just admire her because uh, she's a beaut. And I wonder if I can get her to grow really, really tall and hit the ceiling. That would be cool. And what we're going to get to Springfield at four, we'll probably just chill out. We'll probably get some tea. Um, David was texting me like wanting my um, driver's license. If I just walk behind your camera with my hands in my pants. I am so the person who gets completely overwhelmed and doesn't know what to do when it comes to packing. So I have made myself a little list because lists are the only way I managed to get anything done. Um, and I feel, safe, I feel safer when things are written down in list form. So I've just kind of been putting in stuff I need to take um, and breaking down the outfits that I need. That is always a really handy thing I find because I tend to overpack or panic pack and um, just end up with a bunch of clothes I don't need. So. I basically only need one, two, three outfits and then my dress for the wedding and something to travel into. And I think seeing as I'm gonna be on a train for about nine hours, it's gonna be something along the lines of a hoodie, <laughs> joggy bottoms, pretty much what I'm wearing right now. So that can be ticked off because I have that behind me. I've also packed up all my makeup in not one. <laughs> for two bags this one's kind of empty actually because i need to go and do my skincare um i always get questions about this makeup bag it's a super handy one because it's completely clear so it's great if you're flying and it has a couple of compartments um i actually got this as a gift on a press trip that i went on with tresme and it's from anya highmarch so you can actually buy it it's quite an expensive makeup bag and i hear that space and k do an incredibly similar one so let's take this and go and actually find some of my skincare the fan in this room is so loud so I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, but uh, if it would focus. Here is my skincare situation. I put up these little shelves, which are super handy because they're right next to the sink. Can you tell whose shelf is whose? It's been quite a challenge, actually, to kind of keep everything on this one tiny little uh, shelf, which is actually from Urban Outfitters, if you were wondering. A good challenge, though, because I've been trying to keep it minimal, so I just have everything in this little basket few perfumes and things like that on here so what I actually need to take most importantly cleanser I wish I had a smaller one of these but I don't so <laughs> that's a bit of a waste of space but it's an essential it has to come with me I also picked up um, one of these Garnier moisture bomb face masks I love sheet masks although most of them all my favorite ones are ridiculously expensive I really like the Sarah Chapman ones but they are quite pricey so um, I actually used one of these a little while ago and it was so nice and they're about two pounds. So I'm gonna chuck one of those in there with the hopes that I will have time to do it the day before so my skin is nice and hydrated. Also gonna take my makeup remover. I'm using the Glossier one at the moment, which I quite like actually, it's quite good. I've got two of these, which is the full one. I think this is the one I need to take. Sarah Chapman Intense Hydrating Booster. I've got my cotton pads here and I think I'll probably need about four or five of them. Maybe. I always like to take extra cotton pads just in case. I think I think five will be enough. So I've got cleanser, makeup remover, uh, serum. I'm gonna take one of these oils. I've been really into the Sunday Riley oils at the moment. I've been using Luna again and remembered why it is so good. Um, but this is my favorite kind of everyday one, the Juno. And I got them in minis because I find that you don't use a lot of them. I've had the larger sizes before and just kind of not used them all up before they um, kind of went off. So I'm gonna pack Juno. I've been using uh, this Bobbi Brown eye cream, which is so rich and nice, but I'm gonna take the La Roche-Posay one because it's just a bit smaller. Got my Kiehl's lip balm, that's gonna come. And I think that's it. Oh, SPF, very important. I've got another Kiehl's SPF mini here. So that can come too. So 
is backed, bag packed, and I've got my book here as well, which I'm looking forward to reading. I don't know if I'll have a lot of time on the train because I have a bunch of work to do. But this is Normal People by Sally Rooney, which I've heard good things about. I picked it up months ago. It may have even been last year. And it's one of those books that I've just left on my shelf and I haven't got around to reading. But um, yeah, I've heard it's very good. So I think I'll be able to get through this on the train if it's quiet and if I can sit and read for a little bit, which should be good. I believe there is some tea in the oven for me. I can smell something cooking. Uh, it smells good. I'm so hungry. I haven't really had time for full meals today. I've just had snacks and I've been picking at like leftovers in the fridge which is not good but I think I've got some leftover shepherd's pie uh some leftover vegan shepherd's pie heating in the oven <laughs> and a very excitable dog and boyfriend in the other room by the sounds of it so um I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here because I don't think I'll be doing much for the rest of the night except uh the last two things on my to-do list which are shall we get them out let's see I feel like I'm wobbling the camera every time I move uh so I have to paint my nails and fake tan, how exciting. I don't fake tan very often, usually only when there's something happening or um, I've got my legs out, which both of those things are happening on this occasion. So pray for me, wish me luck guys. I'm not the best, uh, the best fake tanner. I'm not an expert by far. Although I do have, I'm gonna show you. I have a brand new bottle of this, which is Bondi Sands Liquid Gold. Uh, it's an oil, which at first I didn't think would work out very well. I thought it'd be really streaky, but this is magic. It's really moisturising, which is why I think it doesn't streak. Uh, it's pretty much foolproof. It's it's really, really good. It smells good too. It smells like coconuts. And I use it with this mitt, which is from Saint-Tropez. This is quite an expensive mitt, uh, but I think it's worth investing in because the uh, the actual like mitt bit of it is so different to any other ones I've tried. It's like velvet. It's so soft. It's not like foamy and it doesn't sort of itch your skin as you use it. It literally glides stuff on. So these two together. For a fake tan novice like myself, you can't really go wrong. So that's what I'm going to use tonight. Good luck to Joe for having to sleep next to me with all that on. It doesn't actually smell too bad, which is a good thing about it. And I hate, 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 hate the smell of fake tan. Okay, that is enough rambling about tanning for now uh thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed it uh it was a bit of a odd random follow me around kind of vlog but i'm sure you won't mind so that is it for me i'm gonna say goodbye and i will see you all again in my next video bye